Uh, now, until recently, it was thought that turtles were silent. But a researcher from the University of Zurich has found that, well, actually, that's not true. They can actually communicate. It's just that us humans, well, we haven't been trying hard enough to listen to them. So let's start. actually were turtles uh, talking. Uh, so let's find out a little bit more about this. I'm joined now by uh, Gabriel Yergovich cohen uh, and you are an evolutionary biologist and also lead author on this study. So we have got the top man uh, with us here. And first off, how do you even begin to find the evidence that turtles talk to each other? Hello, this is, this is a really good question. Uh, so actually, there was a paper published before showing that there was one species of turtle that can communicate using sounds. And uh, it made me interested. So I decided to try with my own pet turtles. And in the end, I found some sounds there as well. What are the sounds? I mean, when you when you heard them, what went through your mind? Did you think, oh, maybe it's just a, a clicking as they, they, they were moving around or were they responding to each other? Well, it's it's a bit of both. Uh, you you have to understand exactly if the sound is being made for communication, or if it's just an accident of another behavior. So uh, that's why I had cameras filming the animals at the same time uh, they were being sound recorded. All right. So you've got the sounds. Were you able to break them down and decipher what they meant? In some cases, but it can be really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the species I recorded produced over 30 different types of sounds, and, and I'm no Dr. Dolito, so I have to understand <laughs> the behavior that is coming together with it. It takes time. Well, do, do you know what? Um, this is really important, Gabriel, because we are learning so much. We've made so many assumptions, haven't we? And what has happened as a, a result of this study is that it's not just turtles, um, fish as well, uh, lizards have also uh, come up within the study. I mean, what does all this say about evolution? Well, uh, I think we can divide this study in two different parts. The first one is uh, that we found a lot of different animals that were taught to be mute, but they are actually not. Uh, and this includes mostly turtles, but also some other animals like the tuatara, which is lizard-like, but not exactly. And uh, the second part is that this uh, has a huge impact in how we understand the origins of this behavior. Uh, now we can say they came from a common ancestor over 400 million years ago. Okay, I'm just, we've just got a couple more seconds. I just wanna play some of those sounds again for viewers who are just joining us. So just have a listen of this. What does this mean for us, Gabriel? What, what, you know, how are you taking this forward? Well, um, we have to do further research um, in focusing in each one of those species so we, we can understand the, the impact of um, their natural history and their ecology. But in, in our research, we were not able to tell exactly what each one of those sounds mean. Um, mm -hmm. And in this specific case, I, I have no idea, to be honest. OK, well, you know where we are when you do find out, because I'd love to know. Um, it's always very exciting to, to have new discoveries. Gabriel Yergovich-Cohen, thank you so much. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Lucrezia Burek. Bye-bye.